want to laugh your ass off, this is a stranger. <sighs> Do what you just did. I'll share my water with you. Literally. Bots. Everything that happened in there was completely legal. There was nothing illegal about what I did. By the way, Nick, yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why did you lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb Get the f out of my house, now, now. Now! What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Grimm. All right, we got to talk about what's going on with Gabby Hanna. I'm sure many of you know the current crisis, I would say, that Gabby Hanna is in on TikTok. And if you're unaware, I will be getting into that. But don't worry, I'm not making this video crucifying her, per se, for this happening. Instead, I want to talk about the fact that she is having what is what I consider a full mental break. And a fan, or a crazy person, I should say, took this as an opportunity to sneak into her house and try to help her for some reason. So we're going to get into this. Make sure you watch till the very end because this is very insane. But I want to make one thing clear as we start. The only thing I want to say is this situation going on with Gabby Hanna that I'm about to explain is incredibly sad. Either A, it's incredibly sad that it's truly happening and I don't want to see this happen to anybody, let alone be streamed to millions of people. Whether or not I think she's cringe, I definitely do. But regardless of that, it is sad if this is happening. Or B, if this is all being faked and some big elaborate scheme to promote a new album or something, I'm equally saddened because this is just not something that you should to joke around with but after seeing these videos i'm sure you will agree with me that i at least think this is very valid and real so basically what's been happening is gabby Hanna has been on a tear for the past i believe 24 to 48 hours on tiktok posting nearly every few minutes up until a few hours before i decided to make this video and let's just say she's having a very hard time the the videos are very frantic i'm going to be showing you a couple of them here but i really don't want to just glorify the situation especially because i feel for her this is something that i believe happens to people you know there are times that you can just break and this is one of those times it looks like she's going off about things like how she's apparently a woman of color check out this video here i'm middle eastern i traveled from lebanon a maronite crusader of the catholic church the maronite church not the roman empire and she's just saying a lot of things that have to do with religion and spirituality. It really seems like something has snapped in her brain. Like I said in this intro, though, this is not about whether or not, you know, this is happening to her. I wouldn't make a video on just this. Trust me, I, I don't really want to pray for someone's downfall like that. If you don't know who Gabby Hanna is, I probably should have said that earlier. She's an ex-YouTuber, ex-Viner, current TikToker, and current musician, I guess you could say. All around, just kind of a cringe magnet on the internet, and I have poked fun at her in the past. But like I said, these videos I've been seeing on my for you page there have been hundreds of them i simply can't show you them all nor do i really want to but she's just losing her mind she's screaming into her mirror with writing all over it i'll show you this clip here so you can see if gabby hannah the f crucified villain of the internet from the middle east named after the angel gabriel she calls herself the crucified villain of the internet going on about her namesake and all this stuff it's really too much to follow but that's enough exposition for you there now i want to go and shift the focus to this insane person this is a truly insane person i'm about to speak about this random dude nicholas hopefully that's actually his name but he basically was camping out in front of her house as this was all going down because these videos are starting to gain millions of views on tiktok as everybody is scrambling there's a massive disc course on whether or not this is even happening to Gabby truly or if she's faking it I don't think somebody like Gabby is able to act this well so I don't believe she's faking it but there's also just tons of comments wishing that she would get off TikTok stop making the videos and go get some help from people that she knows in real life now this maniac Nicholas took all of these comments as was probably reading and probably involved in these threads as well and saw these all these call outs to her saying get some help Gabby talk to someone and he said I know they're probably talking about somebody like a doctor or a professional or maybe someone she knows in real life that can come help her like her family but no i'm an i'm a random person on the internet i'm gonna get myself involved and that's where i really have a problem so this first video i'm gonna show you just him literally duetting her as she's losing her mind showing that he is outside of her house this is something that he actively drove over to first of all going to somebody's house let alone trying to find their address when they're an influencer is the weirdest creepiest most crossing the line thing you could do but this guy takes it another hundred thousand steps all of a sudden on his tiktok he started posting videos 
videos with captions saying, I'm just chilling in Gabby Hanna's house, just chilling with Gabby Hanna, filming her interior of her house, and everyone's like, what the hell, why are you inside? Uh, she's making all these videos, and people are just really confused, and it turns out she does not know this guy. I found his TikTok because I saw one of his explanations of his actions shortly after leaving her house, we're gonna get into this, but he thinks that he was let in, you know, on purpose, and it was just totally fine, but let me show you this proof that this guy uploaded, and let me tell you why I have some problems with it. Check out the video first. Oh, hi. 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 Think you can use your bathroom? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Hey, there's fine. Oh, What's your name? My name's Nick. Nick? Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Right there. Is right okay. here? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So first of all, that was very weird, right? He just is at her front door as she's trying to leave, and she clearly gasps as if she's not expecting someone to be there. And like I've told you, if you wanna go look at her videos, you can, but I'm telling you, from my point of view, on all the videos I've seen, she is not in her right mind to even have conversations, let alone invite someone into her house or provide consent for them to enter her house properly. She is not thinking correctly, and that's why she instantly was like, oh, this random person I've never seen, and I'm going through a mental health crisis, but not really aware of it? Yeah, you can come in and use the bathroom turns out he did not need to use the bathroom as like i said he immediately started chilling out at her house and filming around tiktoks of his own as she also started to include him in her tiktoks as i'm saying this whole thing has been going for the past day and she has been posting every few minutes this is where she begins to snap even more it's not really clear what this guy is here for but he says according to him that he was really there because he wanted to help this is something that is just so stupid to me because i don't know how you could possibly think you are helping here by interjecting yourself into the situation you have an absolute hero complex and you're a straight up weirdo if you show up to somebody's house and invite yourself in like this, especially when they're losing their freaking mind. She's talking about how she beat the final level of life and rambling about all these spiritual things while he is just lurking in the background, following her around. They post various videos of them dancing together and to her, she's having fun, in the beginning at least. She posts this TikTok where she says, look at me, Nicholas, we're having so much fun. Aren't we so happy? Nick. Yes. Nicholas, how happy are we? So happy. So the happy. woman was too stunned to speak. Along with videos of him playing with her cat and everything seems chill, but you have to think of the context here. She really is not well mentally. We know nothing about this guy and he's now in her house with access to anything in her house while she's running around spouting this crazy BS. This whole time, everybody in the comments section is like, Gabby, you have to let this guy go. You should not have invited him into her house. Can somebody please get the cops out here? Apparently there's rumors that the cops were at her house to do a wellness check. And this is another reason that this guy showed up is he thought that the cops aren't gonna do anything unless she presents a, you know, obvious threat to herself, which I'm sure is true. I'm sure they're actually not doing jack, but that doesn't mean that you, as a bystander slash fan, creepy fan, I might add, of Gabby's, should interject yourself into the situation and go to her house, like I said. He's even in the house filming TikToks like this, saying, I would like to help, but I don't know what to do. So you mean to tell me you went over here while she's having a straight up crisis, is possibly a danger to herself or others, and you went there without a plan, and now you're just asking for TikTok for clout to say, oh, what do I do? How do I help her? guys. Tell me the plan. What should I do? Like, dude, you shouldn't have been here in the first place. This guy definitely did this to one, be weird and meet a YouTuber or somebody that he's a fan of. And two, it's definitely for clout. His account has blown up as a result of this for the wrong reasons. But unfortunately, that doesn't always mean that they will have a dead channel at some point. His TikTok will probably take off after this one action. But Gabby seems to be cognizant of the fact that this is a stranger. She, you know, goes in and out of treating him like a stranger slash friend. Want to laugh your ass off? This is a stranger. Do what you just did. I'll share my water with you. Literally, bots. But even in this video, she admits it. Not sure why they're mixing up water, especially as we have all these weird diseases flying around, but you do you, boo. Either way, I know, like I said, she is not in her right mind, and this guy is just so creepy for doing this. There's no other things that I can really say about it. Like, he is so wrong, and he posted this three-part explanation. I'm sure there's more parts now, where every single excuse is BS, and the guy clearly has no idea what he's doing. He could have been a dangerous threat to her, too, and meanwhile, all the fans on TikTok and people who are watching this saga are watching this unfold, worried for her safety. So finally, Finally, enough people ended up speaking to Gabby and saying, look, this guy knows who you are. He was outside in front of your house on purpose trying to get in. While you're losing your mind, you need to kick him out to where this video got posted, which honestly, I admit, I did laugh in the beginning because it's just comedic how quickly the energy shifts in this video. But it's very sad and frightening to see how paranoid she gets as a result of this. Like this dude coming here is definitely just growing that paranoia and that detachment from reality for her. She now thinks that he's a robot, but we'll get into that. Just watch this clip. Wait, Nick? Yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? 
Why did you lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb Get the f out of my house, now. Now. Now! I mean, dude. <laughs> She's screaming at him to get out and I'm pretty sure at this point he did finally leave. Now, there were more videos that she posted with him, such as this one I'm gonna show you very quickly. So as you can see, you know, she's shaking while talking about this guy, very mentally unwell. I cannot stress that enough. Again, this video was not used to be exploiting the fact that she is having this situation. I'm more talking about this deranged fan of hers and the fact that it's happening in general. But she then goes on this rant about artificial intelligence and how if you act friendly to the bots, they're gonna come and attack you, which I'm assuming she's talking about this guy, Nicholas. She thought he was a robot, as she stated earlier in that video of them swapping the waters. If you show kindness to bots, they get artificial intelligence and they might take over the world. Oh. Either way, by the time I'm filming this video, this is later in the day, it has been about four or five hours since Gabby has posted. Thankfully, I've heard rumors that the police have finally shown up or EMS, and hopefully she's being evaluated slash treated for this mental health crisis, as that is the best you can hope in this situation. But this guy then went home and started posting these explanations, as well as all these videos of while he was in her house invading her privacy. I know in his eyes, he was invited in, and yes, technically she did let him in, but you gotta look at these circumstances and think to yourself, would anybody in their right freak in mind invite somebody in in that situation had they not been losing their mind inside just a couple seconds prior no they wouldn't have so therefore i don't think he belonged in this house hopefully there's something that comes of this when she gets better i really want to get some news on gabby again i'm not a fan but you don't want to see anybody go through this let alone publicly and like i said if this is all some setup and she knows this guy and that gets out there is zero credibility for her as a creator anymore obviously this is not something that you joke about but as you can see from these videos i do think this stuff was entirely real what i want to know though is what do you think of this situation absolutely insane I had a different video planned today but I had to make this because I saw this whole thing unwinding and the fact that we had POVs from both of them was quite insane I really don't get what this guy was thinking in his head I really hope something happens as a result of this in terms of him in the law because this is not okay this is not just and make sure you avoid following this dude's account as he is clearly just trying to grow a fan base and get clout from this terrible terrible situation thank you so much for watching until the very end of this one shout out to my patrons if you want to get some bonus content featuring face cam make sure to check that out huge love over there. Thank you so much for all of you that support me. And if you made it this far, make sure to drop a like as well as a comment letting me know what you thought of this situation. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until next time, peace out.